Hello all my magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a magical unboxing. I believe the first of 2022. Don't forget if you are new and you haven't done already to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video and you can always go and check me out on my social media. A big big shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. If you are interested in joining us on Patreon the link is in the description down below. You can go and check it out. Oh, Kaylee, you have an unboxing, you say? I do, I do indeed, guys. I have the very first unboxing of 2022, and it's the very first Geekier unboxing of 2022. I am very, very excited. We should be getting a new monthly item as well now, so I'm very, very excited to see what that is and what it's going to pertain to for the rest of the year. So, yeah, I'm very excited to delve straight in, so let's get on with it. I will give you guys the first sneak peek. Ooh, oh, is it good? Wow, okay, let's have a nosy. Okay, so I'm seeing a wand box. I am going to place that to one side for the moment. So we have a nice wand box there. And I'm going to go straight for the t-shirt. This t-shirt looks like a fun design. We're seeing some purpley colours here. Let's have a look. Ooh, we have... Yeah, we have an Astronomy Tower themed t-shirt. I quite like this, actually. It's quite a cool design. This is not something I've seen very often on a t-shirt or anything for that matter. We don't get a lot of astrology kind of themed stuff in these kind of boxes. So this is kind of cool. I do really, really like the design. I like the colours. We've got some silver, gold, and we've got the, the purples there as well. That's quite cool. Again, probably not something that is like massively Harry Pottery if you are not more familiar, I suppose, with the Harry Potter series. But for obviously us avid fans, this is going to be something very recognisable. I think this is a really, really cool design. Okay, I am seeing a coin. I have got a coin here. We are sticking with an astronomy kind of theme at the moment, I believe. I have seen... Uh, the hints for this box are very astrology-esque. So yeah, maybe that's just the theme we're in with this at the moment. But on the one side of the coin, we have this beautiful telescope and a constellation. And then on the other side, I'm seeing what I can only imagine is Sirius in dog form. This looks very much like Sirius's Animagi form. Is that right? Am I right in thinking that? But then we've got some sort of like stars and stuff in the background. And it's a very, very shiny silver coin. I think all the coins we've had so far have been like brassy coloured. I could be wrong, but from memory, I'm thinking they've all been like brassy coloured coins. Where this is a very, very silver, very, very shiny coin. It is a beautiful coin. Is it something that I probably would display? Probably not for me personally. I'm not that big on astrology to kind of get involved in this one. Um, and the design for me is just a little bit on the lackluster side. It doesn't scream Harry Potter to me, even if that is the serious black animagi form. It just doesn't scream Harry Potter enough for me personally, but it is a very, very shiny coin. And I know a lot of people are gonna be very, very pleased with this. It is a very beautiful coin in fairness. Okay, I think I'm seeing a pin. Obviously, last year we had a monthly item which was a pin. So every single box we had a pin. And I loved some of those pins. Some of those pins were absolutely gorgeous. But obviously now we're into the new year. We're supposed to be having a new monthly item. But obviously now we've got a pin as well. So maybe this is just a sporadic pin. But I'm very, very intrigued. Again, we're sticking with the astrology theme here, you guys. I don't know what's going on, if this box is just going to be astrology themed in total or what. But the backing card has got the same design as the t-shirt that we saw earlier. And then the actual design of the pin itself, it kind of looks like a time turner, but obviously it's not. It's something to do with astrology. I don't know what they're called. I don't, again, I don't know like enough about astrology to know what this piece of equipment is. I've seen it in the films and I've seen it on, I play the Harry Potter game, it's on the mobile phone. Um, and I've seen that on there. I just don't know what it's called. And because of that, I'm not getting very attached to this pin at present. Maybe that could change. I don't know. Again, it's very, very shiny. Like the background there, you can just see through the back of the design. It's incredibly shiny. I mean, look at the reflection on that. That is absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, the pin itself is just kind of lacking for me personally, just because of the design of it. I'm not really all that into astrology. So yeah, that's my opinion on the pin. It is beautiful, just not for me. Okay, I am seeing a wrapped item. I might pop that to one side just for a moment because I can see the print at the very bottom. Let's get this out. Come hither, my dear. Let's have a look at this print. Okay, see, again, we've got another astrology kind of themed item. So this is a print of the Dark Mark 
above the astrology tower right here. So there's the dark mark right there. And obviously then this is like a sort of upward view of the astrology tower. I mean, it's a cool print. It's quite dark when you think about it, obviously with the theme, the fact that obviously this would have been probably just after Dumbledore sadly died. Little bit grim. But I do like the print. I think it is really, really cool. Very edgy. And if someone is a little bit more into the dark arts sort of side of Harry Potter, this print is going to be absolutely amazing. For me personally, it's not something that I would display. Very, very sad about that. But I do appreciate this print. I think it is a really, really cool design. And I do love as well how we've got like almost like a outline drawing of Hogwarts in like a gold kind of faded print as well so that's quite cool we've got like the Hogwarts outline over here so that's quite nice I do like that element to this I just wish I was a little bit more into the dark arts sort of like side of Harry Potter because then I'd love this kind of thing a little bit more it's just not my aesthetic and I'm really sad about that but it is a really cool print just not for me right that is the one cheat sheet we don't want to see that for the moment so I'm going to put that upside down okay so I'm very very intrigued by this and I'm gonna go for the wand next though because I don't know what this is and I don't know what our new monthly item is and I've just nosied in my box I don't have a cheat sheet that's a little bit annoying I wanted the cheat sheet because I wanted to know a little bit more about the monthly item but hey ho we'll go with it so I'll go for the wand next and see what this one is all about let's have an nosy Okay, I think I got the wrong wand. Did I get the wrong wand? Have we not had this one already? Is this a new wand? It looks very, very familiar. It looks very, very similar, I'm sure, to maybe the last wand that we received or the one before that. I can't remember now. My brain is going a bit fuzzy. But this wand looks incredibly familiar. I think it might be a different design, you know, but it's got a very, I mean, that part of it, I've definitely seen before. I'm just wondering if the rest of the wand is different. Let me get the cheat sheet part of it out. Okay, this is the... This is the beta wand or beta wand. I think I've got this wand right. Have I got the right wand, you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Have I got the wrong wand? Have I got the right wand? Have we had this wand before? Am I going crazy? Is this just very, very similar to a wand we received already? I'm confused. Let me know in the comment section, you guys, because my brain is perplexed. But yeah, that's a little bit disappointing either way, I suppose, because this wand is either very similar to something we've already received or it is just the same one that I've either accidentally got or purposely got. I couldn't answer that question right now. That's confusing. But I'll double check and I'll see what is going on with this one. It's very comfortable to hold though. That I will say. That's one of the positives about this one. It's a very comfortable one to hold. It feels really, really nice in the hand. It's got a lot of swish factor going on. You know I like my swish factor. If a wand's got swish, I'm a happy bunny. So yeah, this wand is definitely a swishy for wand. I don't hate the design. I do like the design of the wand. I just, I'm sure we've had this one before. And I haven't even got a cheat sheet to like double check that. So that's annoying. Anyway, we move on to the last item. I'm very intrigued by this. It looks like it's polka dotted. What are you? I'm not seeing a monthly item though. Have we got a monthly item, you guys? Am I going crazy? Or is the coin going to be a monthly item? Is the coin a monthly item? I don't know. Let's carry on. Shoosh, moaning woman, and get on with the unboxing. Let's have a look. Okay. I think this is Hagrid themed. Is this the print of Hagrid's tie, the really garish one that he wears to try and impress Madame Maxime. Is that what this is? Because this is kind of cute if it is. Ah, oh, that's so cute though. Look, it's very, very soft this is. Obviously we've got a scarf going on here. There we are. It's very big actually. This is ginormous. Let's have a look. Okay, the print on the back isn't quite the same as like kind of like a faded version of the print on this side. So it's not really like a reversible one, but it is very cozy feeling. I do like it. It feels really soft as well. I do like this. I think this is like the Hagrid's, um, the tie that he wears, isn't it? When he goes to see Madame Maxine. Let me just get that out of the way. There we go. This is really cute. I do like this actually. It's probably my favourite item in the box so far. So this is really, really cute. Really, really snuggly. I do like this. Okay, so that was everything that we had in January's Geeky Wizardry box, the very first box from 2022. What are my overall thoughts? Okay, honest thought time. I am a little bit disappointed in this box. I'm not going to lie. It's not the best way, in my opinion, to like kickstart 2022. 
I would always like to see, especially from boxes like Geeky YouTube every single month, especially for like the first one of the year to be like a real like introduction to what's to come from a subscription box for the rest of that year. I'm not feeling that with this one at the moment. I'm feeling a little bit sort of mid-year boxy from this box. Does that make sense? Um, it wasn't a terrible box. It definitely has elements that I think people will enjoy. For me personally, it's a little bit too... Um, it's a little bit too much centred on astrology, which is not one of my preferred classes to take. It wouldn't be one that I'd be all that sort of thrilled about taking in the wizardry world if I was to actually attend Hogwarts. So yeah, for me, it's just kind of not captured my excitement in the way that I would have liked it to have for the first box. I do like the pin. I think the pin is a really, really pretty pin, especially how shiny it is. But yeah, the fact that it's just so astrology themed and it doesn't even look like a Harry Potter pin. It just kind of looks, I don't even know what that looks like. It's just really bizarre. But I think someone that is a little bit more into the astrology side of things will be really, really excited by this box. It's just not the strongest one for me, unfortunately. My favourite thing in the whole box is definitely going to be the scarf. I do like the little nod to Hagrid. We do need some more Hagrid themed items because we don't see enough. I'm not going to lie. I do really like this scarf. It is really, really cute. But yeah, everything else just kind of fell a little bit flat for me personally. Now, I am excited to see what Geek Gear do come up with now over the next 12 months or 11 months now. Um, but yeah, this just wasn't the most exciting start for me personally. But as always, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this box. Did you guys get the cheat sheet? Because I didn't and I'm a bit confused about the monthly item. So again, if you know what the monthly item is, let me know in the comment section down below because I am missing that piece of information right now and I need to have that information. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much done with this video. Let me know what you guys thought. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a magical thumbs up for me so that I know. And don't forget as well, if you haven't done already, to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys.